Hey, it's good, uh, good getting back out there. You know, um, I think the guys have had a, a really good approach. Uh, you know, coming off uh, you know a few days there, uh, you know, with the weekend. Um, you know, came back Saturday was was Sunday, so uh, uh, kind of worked our way through. But I uh, thought they had good energy today. Thought there was good work, competition, uh, and you know, obviously some details we're going to continue to clean up. Uh, you know, in regards to techniques and fundamentals. Uh, but I thought they did a good job of kind of taking the. Uh, the early part of you know game plan uh, implementation, and I thought they they did a solid job there. So I, I did like the, the competitive aspect of today. I thought guys uh, you know invested to go get better. Do you like what you see from Rocky Glenn? Just being expanded relative to the last couple weeks. Rocky Glenn the last couple weeks. Rocky Rocky and Glenn, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky and Glenn. Handlers, 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 all four. All four. So, yeah, no, I really have, and I think those guys. Um, you know, you can see, you can see the uh, the ability, the growth in their eyes, their growth in, in working tempo and timing. But then you also see sometimes of youth and you know, youth and uh, uh, you know areas where they need it. And but you know, I, I love their mindset and the, the, the way that they've been battling. And you know, like I told them, Sarah, every day you come out here, you just fight to go be the best that you can be. And, I mean, but if you don't. Even on the mistakes, you can't waste mistakes. You got to make maximize every one of them. Uh, you got to make sure you learn from it. You got to be able to see that it be, being implemented throughout the course of a practice. And then, if, if you get blessed, you if you come out of a day, you know, to be able to come back and be better on the next one. So, uh, I think both those guys are really approaching things well, and I've been proud of their work. What is it that Duke does that allows them to produce so many negatives? Yeah, I mean they're very aggressive. I mean you look at the you look at their uh, you look at their uh, line movements. Uh, you look at their the, the pressures. I mean they're they're I mean, they're gonna Base downs. I mean, you're going to get probably close to 50%. And there's going to be some type of uh, pop blitz, you know, probably more of that when you when you incorporate some of the line movements that they do. And uh, you know, they've got athletic and good players. Um, and you know, I think they do a great job schematically uh, in being able to uh, in, in how they attack. So uh, it's a it's a challenging defense to have to go against, um, and one that you know, you know they've, been, they've been playing at a very high level. Some of what they do up front is predicated on the fact they trust their second. Well, I mean, you know, that's one of the things that I think they've done they do a really good job of is it, even in their in, in the aggressiveness of their pressures you know they, they usually you know, do a do a good job of mixing coverages so you don't always you know you might get one pressure and on this on, on this this play you're going to get you know maybe a one high look then they might spin to a two um, you know different invert coverages i mean it's it's just a you know, a, a good amount of um, you know volume to see with the different pressures while also you know yes they got talented guys in the back end but they're also make sure that they're not easily attacked if, if that's the best way. Oh. You mentioned the energy of practice today. Did you notice a difference with guys getting a couple of days off and some fresher legs? Yeah, I mean, I think we tried to maximize that. We got good work last week, but um, you know, you know, giving guys a few days, um, you know, uh, is what we need to see midpoint of the season. Um, and it's about you know our response, our growth, and, and I thought they took advantage of that. Jalen, is a guy that looks like the depth chart guy who's inside. I mean, I think he's, he's shown well. You know, he's in, in his first couple of years, he's played both, so I mean, he's got an experience there. Um, but you know, in, in the times that uh, he's played this year, you know, he's shown he's shown growth, maturity. It's not all been right, but I mean, there's there's been uh, some positive uh, new steps. You know, I think you've seen the uh, you know the athleticism and physicality has shown up. Uh, you know, and, and obviously we wanted to uh, to you know, we think that's going to be something that can continue to help us. Uh, you know, those guys that uh, you know, have, have been playing inside got to continue to grow, got to continue to get better. What Jalen brings, you know, just the versatility and how he plays. It looks like Kyle had a good week last week. Though. Is he still part of the plans you guys going to have to count on him? So well, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of the, uh, the freshmen, uh, you know, kind of what those guys have done. Uh, Kyle's, Kyle's a good football player, and, you know, he's proven to be a good football player. You know, he's had, uh, you know, it's not a secret. I mean, there's, you know, he's had, had drops. He's had some challenges that he's had to work through. Um, but, you know, he's, you know, what I love is you know, he is he's a great teammate. He's encouraging those those young guys as much as anything, pushing them. Uh, but, you know, he knows that he's got to be ready for opportunities and moments. And, um, you know, and I think he's, he's showing that in practice. Lou Wayne was also, I think, promoted to a co-starter on the dip chart this week. What have you seen from him the last few weeks? I mean, it's just you see him continuing to grow up. Um, you know, that's more consistent uh, in, in alignments and where he needs to be, what he needs to do, you know, the, the, the finer details of, uh, of the work. And, and then he's also, you know, producing, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one reps, you know, in practice, you know, when he's going against the defense, you, you see that production on a consistent basis. Uh, so we're excited to see his, his continued growth.
Sean Murphy a guy that's closer to up He's getting closer. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll obviously see where that's at. You know, he, he had a, uh, an injury there early part of the season. Uh, you know, coming back off of that, you know, just trying to get him ramped up to where he's back to 100%. Had a little setback, uh, you know, probably about a week ago. Um, you know, but I thought, I, I mean, I, he showed up. I thought he flashed some times today, which was good. Coach, you guys usually um, practice with music. Was there a reason that there was no music inside the press closing today? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, ultimately we don't, you know, we don't control the atmosphere, you know, but we do control ourselves and, you know, making sure that regardless of, of any, you know, artificial, um, you know, energy or any anything that's from the outside, you know, let's make sure we go out there and, you know, we you know, we control what we do. And it's players, coaches, everybody involved. Um, and you know, ultimately that was something that, you know, I just wanted a little change up in regards to that. And, um, you know, because you can you can hear, you can see, you know, where's energy coming from? And it's, and it's from everybody. You know, it's, everybody's being evaluated. And so you, you get a player, you get players, you can see who's encouraging, who's Matt, who, you know, who's, who's helping, who's communicating, um, you know, in that, and you know, just you know, obviously make sure that we're we're bringing you know the energy that's necessary on every single play.